Man is not worried by real problems. So much about his imagined anxieties about real problems. In this profound statement, Epictetus highlights a fundamental aspect of human psychology. He suggests that our anxieties and worries are often not primarily caused by the actual problems we face in life, but by our perceptions and interpretations of these problems. Epictetus invites us to recognize that it's our perspective and the stories we tell ourselves about our challenges that can lead to distress. Real problems, no matter how significant, become manageable when we approach them with a calm and rational mindset. This quote serves as a reminder to engage in a practice of mindfulness and self-awareness. By acknowledging that our anxieties are often products of our own thoughts and interpretations, we gain the power to reframe and reevaluate our concerns. Through this introspective process, we can reduce the emotional burden of imagined anxieties and approach real problems with greater clarity and resilience. Ultimately, Epictetus encourages us to cultivate a mindset that is less prone to unnecessary worry and more capable of addressing life's challenges with wisdom and composure. First, say to yourself, what would you be? And then, do what you have to do. Epictetus offers a profound insight into the process of self-improvement and personal development in this quote. He underscores the importance of clarity in setting one's intentions and goals before taking action. The phrase, first say to yourself what you would be, emphasizes the significance of self-reflection and the articulation of one's aspirations and values. It suggests that before embarking on any endeavor, whether it's a personal goal, a project, or a decision, individuals should define who they want to become and what they want to achieve. The second part, and then do what you have to do, reinforces the idea that actions should align with these self-defined aspirations. It's a call to live intentionally and purposefully, ensuring that our actions are in harmony with our desired self-image and objectives. Epictetus encourages us to avoid haphazard or impulsive actions. Instead, he advocates for a thoughtful, deliberate approach to life while our actions are guided by a clear sense of purpose. This process of self-examination and purpose-driven action can lead to a more fulfilling and authentic life in alignment with our aspirations and values. Any person capable of angering you becomes your master. He can anger you only when you permit yourself to be disturbed by him. Epictetus delves into the realm of emotional resilience and personal mastery. With this insightful quote, he highlights the idea that our emotional reactions, particularly anger, are not solely the result of external actions or words of others, but are deeply intertwined with our internal responses and choices. The phrase any person capable of angering you becomes your master underscores the vulnerability we expose ourselves to when we allow others to trigger our anger. By reacting impulsively to external stimuli, we relinquish control over our emotions, effectively making others the masters of our inner state. Furthermore, he emphasizes that the power to control our emotional reactions ultimately rest within us. When we choose not to be disturbed by external provocations, we retain our emotional autonomy. This quote encourages us to practice emotional self-regulation and resilience. It invites us to cultivate the inner strength to remain composed and unprovoked by external influences. By doing so, we liberate ourselves from being enslaved by our reactions and instead become the masters of our own emotional well-being. In this way, we can navigate life's challenges with greater equanimity and inner peace. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. Epictetus reminds us that wisdom lies in our perspective on life's circumstances. Instead of dwelling on what we lack or cannot control, a wise person finds contentment and joy in what they have. 
This perspective shift is a key aspect of cultivating inner peace. By focusing on our blessings and what is within our power, we can experience a greater sense of tranquility and resilience. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Epictetus reminds us that external events are beyond our control, but our reactions to them are within our power. This fundamental stoic principle teaches us that the key to inner peace and resilience lies in our responses to life's challenges. By choosing to respond with wisdom, courage, and equanimity, we can navigate adversity with grace and maintain our inner serenity regardless of the circumstances. This quote emphasizes the importance of cultivating emotional intelligence and resilience in the face of life's ups and downs. Happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control and some things are not. Epictetus lays the foundation for inner peace and resilience by highlighting the principle distinguishing between what is within our control and what is beyond it. By focusing our efforts and concerns on the things we can influence, our thoughts, actions, and responses, we can free ourselves from unnecessary stress and worry. This clarity allows us to channel our energy into areas where we can make a difference, leading to greater happiness and inner freedom. This quote is a powerful reminder that our mindset and perspective play a crucial role in our ability to navigate life's challenges with tranquility and strength. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. Epictetus encourages us not only to understand and talk about philosophical principles, but more importantly, to live by them. True inner peace and resilience are cultivated through consistent practice and embodiment of stoic wisdom. By aligning our actions within our beliefs and values, we become living examples of the philosophy we embrace. This quote emphasizes the importance of authenticity and integrity in our journey to find inner peace and strength. It suggests that our actions should speak louder than words, demonstrating our commitment to living a stoic life of virtue and wisdom. You become what you give your attention to. Epictetus underscores the significance of our focus and attention in shaping our character and inner world. By directing our attention toward positive and virtuous qualities, we can gradually transform ourselves into better individuals. This quote highlights the power of mindfulness and self-awareness. In the process of self-improvement, it encourages us to be intentional about where we invest our mental and emotional energy, as it ultimately influences our inner peace, resilience, and the kind of person we become. People are not disturbed by things, but by the view they take of them. When, therefore, we are hindered or disturbed or grieved, let us never attribute it to others, but to ourselves. That is, to our own views. It is the action of an uninstructed person to reproach others for his own misfortunes, of one entering upon instruction, to reproach himself, and of one perfectly instructed to reproach neither others nor himself. Epictetus emphasizes the role of our perceptions and judgments in determining our emotional responses. He suggests that external events themselves are not the cause of our disturbances. Rather, it's our interpretation of those events. When we face obstacles or feel disturbed, it's essential to recognize that our reactions stem from our own perspectives. This quote encourages us to take responsibility for our emotions and responses. Instead of blaming external factors or other people, we should look inward and examine our own views and judgments. By doing so, we can begin to cultivate greater emotional resilience and inner peace. It's a reminder that our power lies in how we choose to perceive and respond to the world around us. There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. You must learn to detach yourself 
from outward things, to ignore them so far as your inner self is concerned. You must also learn not to worry about the past and not to be anxious about the future. You must learn to live in the present moment and accept it as it is. Epictetus presents a profound perspective on happiness and inner peace. He suggests that the path to true happiness lies in recognizing and accepting the limitations of our control. By letting go of concerns about things beyond our power, we free ourselves from unnecessary worries and anxieties. This quote also emphasizes the importance of mindfulness and living in the present moment. Instead of dwelling on past regrets or anxiously anticipating the future, we should focus on embracing the present as it is. By cultivating this mindset, we can attain a deeper sense of inner peace and contentment. It's a reminder to prioritize the here and now as the key to genuine happiness. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Epictetus encourages us to embrace the process of self-improvement, even if it means appearing foolish or making mistakes along the way. Growth and learning often involve taking risks and stepping out of comfort zones. This quote emphasizes the importance of humility in the pursuit of wisdom and resilience. It suggests that we should be willing to endure temporary discomfort or judgments from others in our quest for personal development and inner peace.